All right, we're getting the timer in place. We're doing a mental health moment, everyone. Thanks for coming to my channel. It's Dr. Kaufman if you know me from Classroom, but Dr. Gameology if you're having fun watching me play Persona 5 Royal today. This mental health moment comes directly from the amazing people hung, who hung out with me this morning playing the game. We were talking about the way that we actually use therapy to get outside of the therapy room and make a change happen in our life. And now this strategy is not something that you have to use just if you have your own counselor. So if you're watching this video, this is really a strategy for getting things done and helping yourself right on the next page in the book of your life. A lot of people get stuck and there's this thing that they just tell themselves, I'm not doing this or I can't do it. And if you have enough time to worry about how you're not doing something, then the goal now is to find a part in your day where you can just work on it for five minutes. So if you're worrying about something, you can drop what you're doing and go do it for five minutes. Even turning on a timer on your phone can be a really good idea because what will happen is you're giving yourself momentum for that change to happen. So you could worry about, oh, I have this homework assignment. Well, go to your computer and work on it for five minutes. That'll get the creative processes going and you'll start to at least have a roadmap for how to make the thing happen in your life, completing the homework assignment. I'm not reading a book that I want to read. Well, okay, stop what you're doing. Go pick up the book, like right here, The Power of Myth. I've been reading 30 or 50 pages every morning because I have it on my nightstand and when my alarm goes off, I take it with me to go downstairs, make my, my cup of coffee, and now I have the book in my hand. So I'll read for five minutes. So five minutes, I could read five or six pages, but like I said, you just keep going and you keep going. So the five minute rule is really designed to help you get something into your life that you're missing. I'm not exercising. Well. Put on your shoes, put on some nice breathable shorts, take, you know, get outside your house, run for five minutes, just go around your block. Um, you don't have to miss out on doing things just because you don't have an hour to dedicate to it. But what will happen if you do it for five minutes, you'll also see how easy it is to add something into your life. So. Sometimes our anxiety tells us we can't do things and that it doesn't fit into our life and that's just not the case. We need a different way of thinking to jumpstart the positivity and the proactive nature of trying to be the best version of ourselves possible. So this comes from a handout that I give to my clients called Magic Numbers for Life. And the number five is just one of those numbers and hopefully in future mental health moments, I'll share the other numbers with you. But the idea is just have a rule built around a number. It's easy to do something for five minutes and you would never want something that you can put some effort into to get in your way and torment you throughout an entire day, week, month, or a bigger period of time in your life. So it's not really about trying something for five minutes. In the words of Yoda, we either do or we do not. There is no try. That was the mental health moment for today. Thank you for watching. I'm really excited that Persona 5 Royal and the amazing people in my chat were able to make me think about this. And uh, I hope to see all of you soon. So as you go through your day, something's on your mind, put five minutes into it. See if you feel better instead of punishing yourself for not doing it at all. And if you can do that, I'm sure that as you continue the journey, you'll see some good things start to happen that weren't there before. Thanks everyone.